are now tuned in to my main man, Doug. You want that garbage? Go somewhere else. If you want that music that matters, <laughs> get to the right spot. Hey, Doug, talk to him. This is not for the week hearted. Ever since the beat started, the flow switched up. What's up, Fight Fans? This is Kurt Deville with Kind of Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Luis King Kong Ortiz. He asked Andy Ruiz, why do you need a tune-up? Let's fight! Heavyweight contender Luis Ortiz will be 41 years old in a few days, which actually he will on the 29th, to be exact. But that is insignificant number according to the way he is l looking at life. Ortiz has other choices, but to wait for a fight due to the lack of real opponents, the man known as King Kong is hoping that a new opportunity will come around to prove his, his worth in the ring. The Cuban has already turned a page after suffering the knockout defeat to the WBC former world champion Deontay Wilder in November in his rematch the plans of his team and premier boxing champions were to line up a return date in july but now that the ongoing coronavirus pandemic the return of ortiz is now in limbo he says i keep training preparing as always physically because mentally i'm always strong in the gym i do what needs to be done every day as instructed by my coach i'm training let's say at 50 percent ortiz told George Ebro. Ortiz was hoping to get lined up with former unified champion Andy Ruiz, but Ruiz indicated that he needs a tune-up. After suffering a dominant 12-round decision lost to Anthony Joshua in December, it gives me a great joy that people think a little more about me. I'm, I'm determined to continue my career. All of these people who are out there, not only Ruiz, but Kaunaki, to one who lost, Povetkin, Dillian White, they all want to fight for world titles, but they have to go through King Kong. I am the medal test, Ortiz said. He says, why does Ortiz, I mean Ruiz, need a tune-up fight? We have boxers need opponents to help us lift our name. Excuse me. I prefer to always fight against people with marksmanship and not those who are below my level. And now, more than ever, I am dangerous for anyone who wants to rise in this division. I, I feel young. My children are the engine of my career, says Luis Ortiz. Look, Luis Ortiz, I feel, <clears throat> I've always liked Ortiz. I think he's a very dangerous counter-punching opponent. His, fight, his fighting ability is very good. He's a southpaw, and he's an aggressive southpaw, unlike the reputation that Cubans get as, as fighters, especially coming from the amateur pedigree, you know, from the cat and mouse style, you know, they use the ring with lateral uh, movement, you know, some person like um, uh, Rigendau or Lada, uh, you know, to, to name some. But Ortiz, he, you know, he is a dangerous fighter, but how dangerous is he? We have to find out. That was been the qu big question mark for the last couple years that Wilder used Ortiz as that guy, you know, like he says, the metal test to um, to narrate that nobody wants to fight him. OK, and a lot of people gave Deontay Wilder slack about that because people felt that Deontay was in, in Al Heyman was holding Luis Ortiz hostage just so they can say that only I can beat this guy and won't allow him to fight other opposition, okay? Again, like I said, after he beat um, Luis Ortiz the second time, I don't think that's the case. No more, okay? I think now that these fighters are actually scared of Ortiz because there's no reason for Ruiz to do what he did. He, the, he, Luis Ortiz is right. He's absolutely right. Why would you need a tune-up fight now? You know, I touched on this a couple days ago about Ruiz because Ruiz is a guy that you lost. A, I could understand he he suffered a knockout loss. That would be different. 
Okay, then, you know, he would have to heal, you know, uh, his cerebral um, issues, you know, his mental state has to be questioned. Let's see if he's physically able to go back into a fight or you wouldn't want to go back into a tough fight with somebody like Rui, like Luis, right? When he got knocked out, that wasn't the case. He didn't get knocked out. He got out boxed for 12 rounds by the taller, longer, Better boxer, obviously, Anthony Joshua, that took his time, worked the jab, set up the right hand, and repeated the process for 12 rounds, okay? That's not a reason for you to uh, have a tune-up fight, you know what I mean? So I question a lot of uh, Rui, Ruiz's um, ambitions now, his motives. What does he do? What, what is he really doing? Because he's not fighting the best, okay? He turned down the Dillian White fight. And then he claims, oh, I have a huge, a huge uh, uh, announcement coming. It's coming. I have a huge announcement. But what was the huge announcement? That you're going to take a tune-up? That was your huge announcement? Come on, man. Like, let's see you fight somebody worth something. It's not time for you to take tune-ups. I've said this already. But Luis Ortiz is confirming it. This guy, it ain't, and I'm glad he does. He did come out because he knows that the time is ticking, okay? It ain't time for Luis Ortiz to sit back and wait for another shot with Deontay Wilder, hoping he would beat the Tyson. No, I'm sick of seeing that fight. I didn't want to see the second fight. He did enough to prove that he's dangerous and he had the possibility, if it wasn't for other factors, okay, in that fight, he might have beat Deontay Wilder. But Deontay still landed some blows, and some blows he landed that were dirty. Let's you know what I mean? So he but the second fight, he was out boxing Deontay Wilder. Boom, he got caught. Right? So, but that doesn't mean he should give up. He still looked good. Of course, he didn't have a lot of head movement in the first fight. He had more than he did in the second, but he did look better. He looked better. His game plan was more together. You know, I think he just took Deontay for granted, like a lot of people do. But if he wants to fight or Ruiz, Ruiz shouldn't be that guy to bitch out on this opportunity. Okay? Because the public, the spectators, the criticizers, the, the observers, which is us, we will see, okay, where is Ortiz? How will Ortiz line up with Ruiz? How would that fight go down? That's like Lara and Canelo, right? In a sense, in a sense, <laughs> right? But you're looking at it like, okay, well, Ruiz doesn't even want to fight, you know? So the thing is, Ortiz, it's sad because he does have a point. You do have a fighter now denying or um, reluctant to fight him. So he's going to keep believing that. Not saying it's true, but it, it's an argument now. Maybe these people are afraid of Luis Ortiz. But why? Because we've all said that before. You know, and I believe that he was that, that pawn once upon a time for, for Wilder. I believe that. But in hindsight, you're looking at it now. Wilder's been beaten. Wilder don't have a belt. Wilder activated his rematch to salvage what he has. He has things to do. Okay. That has nothing to do with the rest of the heavyweight division. The rest of the heavyweight division must move on. And Ruiz, just because he lost to Joshua, doesn't mean he needs to take a tune-up. He didn't get beat up or punished or knocked out, like I said, right? He just got outboxed. He needs to lose some weight, take on the next biggest fight. He's back home. He's with the PBC, so I guess he's doing the same PBC protocol. Ducking fights taking fights with nobodies where he's uh, relect, uh, uh, um, neglecting to fight somebody. And somebody is Luis Ortiz calling him out. Now, he's talked all this about Dillian White, and he's made it public knowledge that uh, Dillian White's talking smack, right? And he's made a parody video of trolling Dillian White and all that. But this guy, Luis Ortiz, is on your banner. See, it's easy to talk about a person that's in a different promotional company, right? It's easy to talk smack. It's easy to do this because you're, 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 uh, it's like bloods, bloods and crips, like some kind of rival gang or something, right? 
But now this guy is on your side of the street telling you, let's fight. You have nothing to say at all. So I would like to hear Ruiz at least give some type of explanation on why he's not fighting Luis King Kong Ortiz, especially a 41 year old guy almost, right? What are you afraid of? You know, and again, what are you slacking for, right? What are you underachieving for now in your career? Money, that's my counterpunch. He got enough money. He doesn't want to fight the top echelon. He wants to fight tune-ups just to get him his way to feel like he's somewhere. I think that's what it, what it is. You guys tell me what you think it is. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.